welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Bizarre, where the links for Tay Games. On the last episode, we made our way back to a ball and found out, oh my goodness, all of the villagers were still alive. The town was exactly the way we left it. Except, what's this? Oh my goodness, Lafayette is alive. Except, no, it's all an illusion. I did say I was going to talk about my feelings on that. Um, so I'll do so now. I... When I was playing this the first time, I already knew that it was an illusion. Not because I had heard from anyone or anything, but just because it felt so suspicious to me. When we were on the boat as well with the fog, you know, it was all foggy and then everyone in Taliesin was contradicting what Benwick was telling us and I was just like, this is off. And then obviously we saw Nico and I was just immediately like, okay, either Velvet's hand can do some weird thing where it can actually like purify demons or B, this is an illusion and guess what? <laughs> it's an illusion! Um, so yeah, I guess that's weird. Anyway, let's have a look at our expedition. That came back two episodes. Please tell me we got- oh, wait no, we're in the crystallia on it. See, of course. I changed it. It's fine. Oh my goodness, we've got some new stuff. That's good. Oh, we got the Orisar and Vichyssoise. Ors, 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 ors. That song I can't get out of my head. I've not played the game where the Orisar are from, so I would not know. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at the actual information for the Crystal Air and Sea. Uh, let's actually have a look at that because I forgot to do that. Uh, Drifting through these waters is an ancient ship large enough to be mistaken for an island. Its origins are lost even to the native Orisar tribe. I don't know if I read that out when we got the place, but yeah. Wow, we, we got four of the materials. And one special all at once. Like, if this isn't already going better than the other area, for God's sake. Okay, let's um, head on out into the big uh, village. The big village. Oh, God. <sighs> Isaac Rooker, where are you at? We're coming to help. Oh, dear. There you are. Velvet, you have to stop your friends. They keep saying they're going to the Cape, and they just won't listen. The Abbey's forbidden anyone from going inside. We'll all be punished if anyone breaks the rules. I hate to say it, Nico, but I think I'm a terrible person. I really thought I could have my old life back again. And I could forget everything else. I tried to act like I was doing it for Laffy, but it was all for myself. But I can't forget. I shouldn't forget. Laffy is dead. He was murdered without even knowing why. I will never forgive that. Ever! So get out of my way. If you don't, I'll devour you again! Of it. Why? Why must you do this? There we go. The truth at last. Well, okay, that went well. Okay, Garuda's wolf berserkers. Out of my way! <laughs> Surprise. I didn't think you'd actually tough it out. What are you talking about? Focus on the monsters, sweetie pie. These things do a lot of damage. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, dang it. I wish I had another soul and I don't have another soul. Wait, why are they all over there? Don't stand up for me. Actually, that's probably true to cat it. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Seriously, who is stunning these things? Why can't I stun these things? Oh, nice! Yes! Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god. This is satisfying. That was a satisfying battle. This 
this way. The shrine's through these woods. Hey, mind telling me what the hell's going on? It's a trap. Trap, trap, trap. Our enemy spun an illusion based on Velvet's dreams. That's a nasty little art. But Velvet saw through it all? She did. But even if it's all a dream, such brutality on her part. Eh, Velvet's always been our brutal poodle. But to shake off the dream by herself, now that's something. The boundary between dreams and reality is demarcated solely by one's own heart. What? I'm saying she's wowie zowie cool beans. Come on, we gotta hurry. Well, to be entirely fair, if it's based on your heart, Velvet's heart is kind of set on revenge for what happened in this village. I don't think she could settle for a fantasy where everything is fine. Just because she is so dead set on killing Artorius. Anyway, let's um, finally head on into the Tranquil Woods so that we can head to the cave. It was all a dream. Hell, even if it wasn't. I won't turn back! Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I don't want undead skeleton people, thanks. Ugh. Undead skeleton people, yeah, okay. Usually you would assume that a skeleton person is undead, but... Okay. <laughs> oh man. Oh, hello, Geotree. Didn't see you there. Um, oh, okay, do I need to run up? Yes! Finally, I can come through here. Yoink. Okay, uh, apple gel. Apple gel. Really? As if you could get here before now to, like, Get an apple gel. Seriously, why didn't you just give me a grape gel? They're so much more useful. Not that I'd be able to use it because I, I'm pretty sure that I have everything in my thing already. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, let's... <laughs> let's... Oh! That was sparkly. That was a super sparkly one. Ah! Okay, where am I going? Yeah, okay, this way to the cape. Oh yeah! Rock! See, we don't need a friggin' Malak to do it for us. We can do it ourselves. Okay, let's um, head on into the cave, shall we? There it is! The Therian! Well, I think I've seen this before! Okay, uh, Orthrus. Therian. Weakness is wind, resistant to fire and water. Weak to hidden arts. Wait, I know you. You're Nico's dogs! Oh, Nico's dogs! Oh no. Okay, this is fine. Okay. Uh, this is literally just a reskin of an enemy that we saw in Zysteria. Um, and I can't even use the same strategy that I used in Zysteria because I literally just um, armatized with Mikleo. Which, uh... As we all very well know, I can't do in this game. Okay, yoink, yoink, yoink. Oh no, I don't die. Okay, okay, 489. Thank you, 673 is better, but... Whoa, okay. Right, okay, I want a soul. Too bad Velvet doesn't have one. Oh. Ow, okay. Oh no. Oh, 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 I saw a soul. There we go. Ah, crap, I can't uh, guard against that one, apparently. Okay. Ah, crap. I'm gonna die if I'm not careful. Okay, okay, it was stunned for a second, so I got some nice damage on it, but ah, crap. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh no! This is fine, okay. Um, I'm gonna switch to Aizen. Hi there. Nope. No! Mine. There we go. Okay. Oh, nice! Okay, this is a good combo. Yes! Die or be killed! I was a bit early on that one, but that's fine. Woo! Oh, okay, okay, crap. Okay, I need to make sure I don't die. Too slow. Oh, nice! Okay. 
smash them! So let! Air thrust! Oh, okay, Magula is dead. That uh, isn't good. Okay, let's uh, bring back Margulu. Margulu. At the very least, he could have. Oh crap! Oh, Rokuro died. I can heal the wounds, but I can't. Okay, this is going well. By which I mean it's not going well at all, but um. Okay. Okay. Someone else bring back um Rokuro, please. Okay, can we please? Yes! Okay. Ah, crap. Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, oh no. Okay. Oh no! No, no, no! Don't, don't you dare. Okay, okay, okay. Um, emergency healing time. Wait, hold on. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh no, it has regeneration. I just noticed. <gasps> How much does this thing heal back? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, uh, Rokuro, I'm bringing you back. Please be careful. Okay. Okay. We're good, we're good. Yes! No mercy! You thought I'd stop there. Annihilating? Crash! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Oh man, that was a combo! Oh my god! Sorry, pups. You're coming with me. Velvet! It's okay. I killed their owner. I deserve all their hate. And then some. But not now. Understand? Once I get my revenge, you can tear me apart if you like. I promise. Until then, I'll need your help. Guess the art finally evaporated. The book! It disappeared! What book? I found a copy of the ancient book with every page still intact. It was in Velvet's house. Artorias's book! The real one might still be there. We should go back to Velvet's house to search for it. Holy cow, that went well. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was actually quite fun. Okay, no talking? No talking. Well, wasn't that a treat? Oh my god. Those poor dogs. I feel really bad for them. I mean, like... <sighs> I don't know, I'm just... They were, they were good dogs, you know? And then they just lost their owner. Those poor dogs. Anyway! We have a skit here. Get that book. That was one hell of an illusion. I have to admire the skill that went into its construction. The caster probably has a tethered Moloch with a unique power on the same level as my Reaper's curse. I can think of one person who would lay such a wicked trap. Still, we may have a new clue to the nature of Inominat. You found Inominat's book, right, Lafayette? Yeah, in Velvet's house. 
Then let's hurry to Velvet's house. We'll go there in a second, Aizen. Don't worry, I'm just looting first. We're back in a ball, the village of Wonging. I mean, I'm glad it's not dark anymore. It looks really pretty. But... There's nobody here. This is reality. Yeah, but it's kind of trashed. I feel really sad. Like... It's been so many years, and just everything is decaying because of what happened that night. And I think it's stronger after seeing, you know, what it would be like if everyone was still there. Um, and that's the whole point of the illusion, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, powerful illusion that was. Uh, is there anything else here? That? Okay. Let's head on to Velvet's house. I expected there should be a scene for some reason, but there was not. <sighs> Are there enough cat souls for me at least to do the thing or... <gasps> Castle? Yoink. I have 248. I think I need 250. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let's have a look at it at least and see if that's actually how many it needs. Oh! Oh my god. One of these days I will get that cat's box, but apparently it's not today. Okay, uh, the book was in Laffy's room. Let's go there. It's empty. No surprise there. Artorius is too thorough to overlook something like that. If only I'd showed it to you as soon as I found it. Don't beat yourself up over it. We wouldn't have been able to read it without Grimoire anyhow. It was just a dream. All of it. If it was a dream, would it still have all of the information in it? Or would it be blank? Because I don't think Velvet would have known what it said. Eh, well, in any case. Check out all these complicated looking books. A hand drawn map! Nice. It's incomplete, but seems quite detailed. It's beautiful. My brother drew it. Every day, even when his fever got too strong for him to read a book, he'd stare at that map for hours. Laffy said he... he wanted to travel the world? Yes, it was his dream. I never understood what made him want to do something so dangerous. But I'm living his dream now. It's ironic, isn't it? Ironic's one word for it. Hmm. Let's see what's here. This was your room, wasn't it? You can knit. I was trying to learn. Nico said she'd teach me how as a thank you for giving her my quiche recipe. We wanted to finish a set of scarves for the winter. Velvet. Forget about it. I don't need to knit anymore. Well, I mean, Lava said the one that we have in the party, Fee, he, he gets cold sometimes. Let's give him a scarf. No, I'm joking. Um, Oh man. <gasps> Finally! I can open that cat's chest! Okay, uh, let's... Oh, you can go up on the roof. Well, I mean, I can, but... Oh. Those are the graves of my sister and her son. He died before he was even born. They're in rough shape. We should lay some flowers. Don't bother. There's no point. A keen insight. Eating one would be cruel enough, but plucking an innocent flower just to offer it as decoration for some memorial. That's not even a sacrifice, just a cruelty devoid of all purpose. Melchior! As obtuse as ever. I take it you're the one behind the dream fog? I must say, you did well to break for such resolve. If you weren't a Therian, I'd be tempted to take you under my wing. Did you come here to flatter me? Indeed. Although I was already in the neighborhood to retrieve this book. I'll be taking that. 
This book was compiled by my dear friend, who was also Artorius's mentor and predecessor as head of the Exorcists. It contains the hopes and dreams left by a noble soul who gave his life for the world that grieved him. It is not for a tainted demon to touch. Like we need your permission. <laughs> Look who obeyed me for once. Is that... You didn't! Be patient. You'll know everything before long. What we seek is the realization of a perfect order, as tranquil and beautiful as a wildflower in bloom. A perfect order? Let's go. There's nothing left for us here. <sighs> yeah, of course it was Melchior. Oh, damn him. Of course he was going to be the one behind all of this. We're supposed to return to the Van Eltia at the Italias and Docks, but before we do that, I can finally open this. I now have zero cat souls. That is depressing. Obtained angel wings. Okay, okay, let's have a look at them. <laughs> oh man, I have the angel halo as well, so let's put that on to, to match. There we go. Okay, where is it? There we go, angel wings. White wings to show a pure spirit. Fly to where your heart tells you. <laughs> and that's what they look like. They're the same as they were in this area, but yeah. <laughs> oh man, let's take those off. Well, that was worth 250 cat souls. Let's leave. <laughs> Oh man. Actually, is there anything in the village? No. Okay. Well, it was nice coming back. Oh! Look! It's the Book of Enominot! What's it doing there? Wait! That's one of Arthur's. Actually, it's a copy that Lafayette made. Lafay made a copy of the book. He transcribed it all by hand, and then he sold it just to buy me that comb. There was something here for us after all. Lafay. If that's the complete manuscript, we might be able to unravel Enominot's secrets. We'll have to show it to Grimoire. <laughs> Pulling one over on the old man, are you? Never a dull moment with Lady Calamity around. All right. Time to drop off the pups and get Grimoire to translate this book. We're going back to Titania. Help it. Oh, I feel so bad for her, and I also love this so much because we're getting to see the emotion side of her that we haven't seen in so long, you know, when they're talking about her brother. It's painful, but it's really nice. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, anyway. Good that we got the book. Um, good that it was. One that we should have known was there. Because of course Maleficent um, transcribed it. Oh man, okay. Um, I'm gonna start heading back to Talies and um, if anything interesting happens, I will let you know. Oh! Our expedition returned! Let's have a look at that! Our scout ship has returned! Well done! I'd expect no less from Eifrit's crew. It worked! Huge success! Nice. We have all of the materials there now. We just need the special items and the area, which is good. Uh, I guess we'll try and finish this area Scout first. Scout ship setting sail. All right, I'm gonna continue going back. I'll let you know how it happens. That horned monster. He was with Melchior. There was something different about him. He wasn't a Moloch, though, right? 
<sighs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he's a demon. But why would the Abbey be working with a demon? He could be a Therian, maybe. I mean, there was Medissa and Kamoana. No, I don't think so. The Abbey keeps their Therians behind barriers and bound to Earth Pulse points. A Therian can't send malevolence to Inominot while walking freely. That's correct. And besides, Orthrus was already here. In any case, now we know Melchior has a mean-looking bodyguard in addition to his illusions. It'll take quite a lot to stop him. Aye. That's a fact. Well, it looks like we didn't have to wait that long for something interesting to happen. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. 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 245, dang it. Uh, I spent all my cat souls. But now I have to get more cat souls because I'm a gambler and I'm addicted. No, um. <laughs> Gambles with cat souls. Eleanor, there's something I have to ask. What is it? Did you leak our plans to the Abbey? <sighs> Eleanor hasn't done anything like that. Then how do you explain Melchior and his illusions already waiting for us when we got to a ball? I promised you that I would work together with you until I found the truth for myself. I'm not up to any tricks. It's far too late for that now. Exactly what a guilty party would say. If anyone's suspicious here, I'd say it's you, Magilu. No tricks. <laughs> I don't even know what a trick is. <sighs> Enough. If Eleanor was leaking information, then Titania would surely be under attack by now. Right. I'm sure the Abbey would love to have those Therians back. But the enemy was in that village waiting in ambush. The Abbey isn't foolish. They figured out by now that we're rounding up the Therians. They'll have left traps for us with each remaining one. It's the obvious move. All right. If that's how you see it, I'll stand down. So you trust me then? No. I'm saying that anything the Abbey tries, I'll be ready for it. <sighs> oh, such a brave, determined soul. I was gonna say, you would think that by now they would have figured out that we're tracking down the Therians. We're not exactly secretive about it. Anyway, we have another skit here, an art to control demons. Eleanor, does the Abbey possess an art that can control demons? Not that I've ever heard of. Besides, if they could control demons, there'd be no need to resurrect Enominot, would there? Can't argue with that. But Melchior was obviously in control of that demon. How did he manage that? You can't tether them like a Moloch, and Melchior wasn't using oaths or mana to compel him. No. This was something more like mind control. Mind control? Let's say you know your target's innermost desires. You simply conjure the right illusion. Show them what would push their buttons in just the right way. Ah. If you can create an illusion of something someone really wants, you can control them. Exactly. You can force a powerful burden upon your target's psyche. Until their spirit breaks, that is. What happens when they break? Depends on the target. They might become an empty shell, they might go wild with desire. Eeny teeny spiny crow. You sure know a lot about this. Now that you put it that way, why would I know so much about it? <gasps> what if someone is controlling me, making me say these very words? How horrifying! I believe I'll take your words with a grain of salt. Hmm. Seriously, though, why does Magula know so much about these things? I mean, not that it's not been helpful having her tell us all this stuff, but that is a wolf. Um, like, yeah, it's been helpful having her say this stuff, but how does she know? Listen, Eleanor really isn't spying on us. I was with her almost every minute, and when I wasn't, Velvet was watching her. And she's a woman who keeps her promises. She wouldn't lie to... Lafayette. We understand, Lafayette. It's Eleanor. If she were lying to herself to somehow keep spying on us, the guilt would fill her with malevolence. I see. You're right. The fact that I haven't turned into a dragon proves that. Thank you. Both of you. I didn't think you were giving them information intentionally. But there are illusionists like Melchior out there. 
That means we can't rule out someone recording your thoughts in secret. I don't think we need to worry about that either. Not with you and Lafayette always near. <sighs> now that that's settled, it's time for you all to testify to my innocence. That could be difficult. What? Well, okay. Why don't you start off by telling us all about the time you sold us out to Teresa back in Hellevis? Oh, why bring up that old yam? You're a very vindictive man, do you know that? You're just figuring that out? <laughs> well, there's your proof, at least. You wouldn't make much of a spy. <laughs> she really wouldn't. Hey, that's not what I meant. You were mean. <laughs> well, I don't think she focuses so much on the serious so much as she does on the trivial most of the time, so... Ah. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh wow, looks like we have a lot going on here. Hi. Leaving town, are you? You know there's nothing but demon-infested woods out there. Wow, okay. Guess that makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? Hi. Woohoo! My sister's making us pickle board meatballs for dinner tonight! Hey, what did I tell you about bothering travelers? Sorry about that. He's totally obsessed with food. That's all right. Prickle bore meatballs, huh? Sounds delicious. They're really super tasty, but Sis says that they used to taste even better. Why is that? We used to get deliveries of fresh, delicious prickle bore meat from the nearby village of a ball. But in the advent three years ago, demons attacked the village, and now it's gone. It's such a tragedy. If they only could have held out for just one more day, I'm sure Lord Artorius would have saved them. Artorius. Right. Yeah, of course it would be Artorius. Hi. I love your meatballs. They're the best. Haha, <laughs> you're so sweet. Oh dear. The cat's not in there anymore. In fact, I've not seen a single cat yet. I'm slightly concerned. Where are the cats? Um... Was that a, was that an illusion too? Was I duped? Actually, it's really cloudy here. They were saying it's not usually foggy, but apparently it's cloudy. Hi, how you doing? All the land in East Kent is being thrust upward, so the city is slowly becoming more vertical. I don't know how it'll turn out, but if there are more stairs involved, it'll be hard on seniors. Yeah, I can imagine. Although, considering he's pretty chipper for his age. But he is an old man. Which way am I going? This way first. Shall we go this way? Hi. Are you a boy or a girl this time? You're a girl. Okay. Okay. It's time for a tell yes and quiz. How many steps are there in the city and port combined? The correct answer is... I won't go to such steps to answer such a silly quiz. Oh, come on now. There's no attitude to have. That's no attitude to have. Where's your curiosity? Huh? Where would I even start? I'd be counting stairs all day long! So it's like that, is it? You're a boy who just gives up before he even starts, are you? N no way! But I mean, be responsible here! Be, uh, be reasonable here! Uh, kid is gender fluid. Confirmed. Okay, hi. No cats sitting on the stairs today, huh? Uh, that takes me back. How do you know about that? It's been three years since there have been any cats around. Taliesin is a cat-free city now. That's a part of the city's rules. Three whole years. That's depressing! Oh my god, that's the worst part of the illusion. Oh my gosh! You got me all psyched up for all the cats and now they're all gone? I'm depressed. <laughs> wow. I am actually really sad about that. Wow. Hi. During the advent, Lord Artorius first appeared in Taliesin. He wielded strange fires and burned away waves of demons. It was miraculous. He truly is the savior of this world. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know someone who would argue with you there. Hi! Aw, I wish we had some open space to play in, but there are demons outside of town. <sighs> Playing is a kid's job, so this is a rotten time to grow up in. Well, I mean, you can play around on the stairs. 
But I, I see why they'd be sad about not having so much room to run around and be free. Hi there, how you doing? Ten years ago or so, lots of people went from Eastcand to the capital to find their fortunes. These days almost everyone lives where the Abbey tells them to. It's too bad, really. I'd have liked to see what life in the capital is like. Oh. Wait, so you have to be told that you can live in the capital? Wow. Wow. That's dark. Oh, hi there. I heard there were some ancient ruins sleeping at the bottom of Lake Pernia. I'd wager you you can make a pretty penny if you could dredge up any artifacts from down there. I've heard there are some real finds to be had. Still, that's demon territory. You won't be able to spend gold if you're dead. True. <sighs> Although maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> Just, you can't uh, spend money, so you'll be saving all your money instead. Hi there. We put a different kind of potpourri in the pillows of each room. The recipes are secret hand handed down through generations of innkeepers. Oh, that's interesting. Well, they seem to still be keeping their inn up to a high standard. At the very least, that wasn't an illusion. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Let's head out of here. We have people to talk to, people to see. Hi. <sighs> She's been dead for three years now. She won't come back, no matter how much I wish it possible. I have to accept it. I understand in my head, but in my heart... I'm so sorry, Nico. So he and Nico were... Yeah... I do remember, actually, from near the start of the game, Nico saying that she liked this guy from Taliesin, who was a vet. That's depressing! Hi! Lord Artorius chose to save the many of Taliesin rather than the few of Abal. He is a true man of reason. Everyone should accept Abal's fate, however unfortunate. Oh, hear, hear. It's easy to say he should have saved both, but Lord Artorius is only one man after all. But old one man can only do so much. He's the shepherd. Why couldn't he do it all? <laughs> oh, man. Hi, Bard. How you doing? Lo, the shepherd of mankind. He came to Taliesin. His sacred blade of reason, a shining guide to light to guide. A shining guide to light? A shining light to guide. Well, it looks like the uh, the bard's songs haven't changed very much. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Right, let's go in here. Hi. I'm starting to win a fair amount of matches against the guy upstairs. He's been turning up in my dreams a lot recently, too. Oh, does that mean you're falling in love? They're not those kinds of dreams. I think maybe you're playing too much uh, mug match. Considering I'm pretty sure the guy who does mug match is the same guy who is featured in mug match. You're playing too much. Hi. Ugh, I want a girlfriend so bad. Someone like the Lady of the Lake. Lady of the Lake? You mean the princess from that fairy tale? You're aiming a bit high there, buddy. Take a look in a mirror and at, well, and at, and at reality while you're at it. Well, I... I think the Lady of the Lake is a little bit out of your right, out of your league. She's like really nice and really pretty, and I, I'm not sure if she'd be interested in you. <laughs> She's also a seraph, so you just can't freaking see her. All right, let's go. To, well, actually, no, they might be able to see her at the moment. Where is she? We just don't know. Right, uh, where am I going? I got lost as to where I am. Which, uh, doesn't really help. Hey, it's that guy! Let's talk to that guy! Wow, the weather's just swell. It's something I've said every day for three months now. Huh? But wasn't there just a heavy fog? Nope. Never seen a wisp of fog in this village. It's been sunny so long, I think I might dry up. That means that fog was just another of Melchior's illusions. Seems that way. I think the fog is part of the illusion. Like, that's what trans... Tra transfers the illusion. There we go, that's the word. We haven't had a storm or even a scrap of fog here in Taliesin for years. The demons are trouble, but at least the weather's fine. Fair enough. Our town decided to make a new holiday marking the day that Lord Artorius became the shepherd. Three years ago, when the Malachim appeared on the advent, Taliesin was the first town that Lord Artorius saved. We hold great pride at being the city where humanity first struck back against the demons. 
That explains why you'd celebrate his ascension, but wasn't a ball closer to his heart? You may be right about that. Not being able to save a ball was a terrible agony for Lord Artorius. Even though he killed the demons that destroyed the village, he couldn't bring back the lives that had been lost. If Lord Artorius had gone to a ball first, our city might have been destroyed instead. We won't forget the tragedy that befell a ball. That's the other purpose of this holiday. Remembrance. That's right. Lives lost can never be brought back. Wait, 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 wait. If he had gone to a ball first, he was in a ball. <laughs> he lived there. Well, in terms of population and importance, a ball and Taliesin couldn't be further apart. Lord Artorius used impeccable reason when he chose to protect the many of the city over a few of a village. That's funny. You call it a city. That guy called it a village. Here, Taliesin. That's weird. To me, anyway. Let's go in here. The sanctuary is always a place to get interesting opinions from the general public. Hi there, priest. How you doing? Oh, that's the exact same thing as with the Lafayette uh, thing. That's fine. Hi. What would the world be like if the sunken kingdom of Highland had continued to thrive? Would Taliesin have been a metropolis today? Alas, either way, demon blight would have affected the city just as it is now. That's very true, and um, I'm pretty sure to, um, demon blight will continue to affect the city for years to come. Hi! The Pernia cliffside path is crawling with demons. We won't be able to defend this place without increased support from the exorcists. I have sent a request, but Iskand is not the primary concern, unfortunately. You mean they deem some lives more worthwhile than others? Yes, such is the nature of their reason. It's the many over the few for the exorcists. Not saying that's a good thing, obviously. Anyway, hi old man, how you doing? Excuse me, my partner and I here would like to put on a comedy show if it's possible. Ah, not often you run into someone with a real fire in their eyes. Alright, show me what you got. With pleasure. Eleanor, I'm impressed. I didn't know you had this sort of initiative. You just have to do what you have to do, right? Besides, if we pull this off, it could be our chance to get closer to Majulu. Did you say Majulu? I haven't seen her recently, but she seems to be making a name for herself in Logris. Yeah, her dances are really beautiful. Do you know her? I do. Her and her teacher, Valta. Now, I'm not saying Majulu isn't great, but Valta was utterly sublime. I worry about him pushing Majulu so much, to be honest. He's never been one to accept compromise in his art. Huh. I didn't know that. We don't have time to stop and feel bad for our rivals. Did you memorize the script? Of course I did. And I won't tolerate any slip-ups from you either. <laughs> Hearing that just makes me more motivated. Well, let's get going. We've got a show to put on. Again? If we're supposed to be regulars here, then why does everyone look like they've never heard of Bianfu? And what's with this magic Azam stuff? Is that some kind of spell? Uh, gosh, it's really been getting cold here lately. Are you just going to ignore my questions? What does it matter? Aren't you too cold to worry about things like that? Does this feel summery to you? I can be cold and ask you questions at the same time. Actually, it is rather cold. See? I said it was cold! In fact, I've been so cold lately I even set fire to my clothes! Isn't that going too far? Well, that's how cold I was. In fact, that wasn't enough, so I set the house on fire too! Your house? Why would you do that? Oh, don't worry. It doesn't bother me at all. And who said it was my house? The one I set on fire was yours. <laughs> that's a crime, you know. Huh? What's wrong? That's not in the script. Arson is a serious crime. Well, yes, but... In the script, the punchline was supposed to be... But when I saw how much it would cost to replace them, I got the chills. Yeah, but I got into the moment and thought I could ad-lib something better. You're advocating something morally abhorrent. Change it back. What's the big deal? You're getting worked up over a joke. Crime is not a joke. 
even speaking as a normal citizen, I can't condone speech that promotes such a horrifically antisocial act. Oh, now you've got me all mad. I give up for good. No, it's bad. I said I give up for good. No, it's bad. <laughs> My deepest apologies for putting on an act about something so terrible today, sir. Well, the whole thing was meant to be about morals anyway, so how did we do? <sighs> Can I just ask you one question? Are you for real? Yes, I am. I should have known. Yeah, that was bound to happen, wasn't it? That was a rather strained and plain. Are you sure the Abbey isn't a better fit? Well, I don't think so. We got a new um, outfit for Magilu anyway. We got her hatless style. Uh, see, the hat does come off. Don't get any silly ideas about witches. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like her hair like that, actually. Um, in fact, to go with that, we do have the jacketless outfit. Don't get the wrong impression. Those are shorts. They're, they're very short shorts. Um, I think I prefer it with the books on there. What pandemonium that was. Everyone chasing cats through the city streets. Don't remind me. You'll put me off my lunch. Did they have to round up all the cats to get them out with them? Why did they not want cats here? Were they worried about them turning into demons? Like seriously, why is that the rule though? Oh, maybe it's because of the food and the fishing industry. That would make sense. Um, okay. Hi there. There was once so many cats here that some people called the city Whiskerson. But three years ago, one of the kitties came down with demon blight, so they were all exterminated. Hence all these rats you see about. Can't be helped, right? Okay, first of all, exterminated! Oh my god, those poor cats! I thought you would at least set them free into the wild, but exterminated? Holy cow! And uh, second of all, would the rats have an equal chance of coming down with demon blight? Hi. The Abbey isn't stationing so many ex exorcists here at all, even though the demon blight has been spreading like mad. I know the frontier like Eastgand isn't exactly a first priority, but that doesn't make it any easier. Yeah, you would think they would at least station someone here, but the many over the few! Now, who's bang? This is gonna be a flippin' Class 4 island, right? There's one of them off-limit Class 4 islands that folks call Serpent Isle. Place has been overrun with snakes since forever. I hate the things, so it sounds like hell to me. But I've heard there's a woman who actually lives there. Whatever for? Why would anyone want to live in a place like that? I know, it's mighty strange. Place supposedly is crawling with demons too. Last time I was in the area, I checked it out. Kept my distance, of course. Used me spyglass. And? Was she there? Aye, she was. Except she looked like a snake herself. I mean, she was human up top, but her face was a weird color, and her lower half was all slithery and wiggly. Ugh. Creep me out. A snake woman, huh? Even worse, looked like you couldn't swing a cat without hitting a snake. <sighs> Just the thought of it keeps me awake at night. You should have a stiff drink and get some sleep before you pass out on deck. I'll tell Benwick to give you an extra ration. Wow. Uh, thanks a lot, first mate. I appreciate it. Heh <laughs> I oughta pester him for some of that aged reserve he keeps hidden away. You can now go to a new class for administrative zone. Aizen, don't show him sympathy. You'll never catch me going to Serpent Isle. But if you pop those guys open and slowly cook him in some secret sauce, there's nothing finer. Ew. <laughs> that's, that sounds so gross. Take a oh, look man. at this. I bet that's a delicacy somewhere, though. Okay. I knew this would be big. What a treasure! We discovered the Orisaurin brothers, a trio of dolls found drifting across the Crystalliran Sea. One represents strength, one beauty, and one craftsmanship. And we also learned fortune telling half-hearted. <laughs> okay, nice. Um, okay, so we just got to get one more special, that's the attachment, and the next area. Cool. Scout ship setting sail. Let's have a look at our new treasure, shall we? That's... that's adorable. 
What are those dolls supposed to be? Otters? No, they are Orosaurin. Never heard of them. They're a curious race that is said to have descended from otters. Alas, they all vanished from this world long ago. Interesting. Anyway, those dolls are incredibly lifelike. What craftsmanship. Indeed. I keep expecting them to turn and blink at me. And their fur is so delicate and soft to the touch. Wait. Do you think that fur is the real thing? Were these actual or a Soren? But please do not say such dreadful things! <laughs> oh gosh, okay, taxidermy, nice. Okay, um, let's head on um, over here. I think I can maybe touch this guy? Yes, hi there. Catch your own lunch. I don't have time. Fine, but if I catch a big one, I'm not sharing. Don't believe me, kid. Take it all for yourself. Hi there. Welcome back. Did you find the Therian? Yeah. We're bringing these two back to Titania. Dogs? Look, lizards, no problem. Walking hunks of armor I can deal with, but dogs on my ship? You're not a dog person. I was, uh, bit by one when I was a kid. Then you've got nothing to worry about. If they're biting anyone on this ship, it'll be me. Uh, are you okay, Velvet? Oh, sure. They're just dogs. No, I mean, in general. <sighs> Fine, they can come aboard. I'll take us back to Titania. I love that! Just, are you okay, Velvet? Like, do you need help? Tell us if you need help, okay? Um, okay, we have another to get here. Looking after Orthy and Russ. We have to take good care of Orthy and Russ. That's on you. They won't let me near. Ah. Uh, yeah, well, what do you expect? You only killed their master. Don't worry, I'll take responsibility. You mustn't! They're quite vicious, you know! I just asked them if they wanted to be friends, and they suddenly bit me! I'm sure you said something to irritate them, like, I'll make you my minions! You had it coming. She... she knows! But you have Therians to find, Lafayette. You won't be able to look after them all the time. I suppose... what should I do? You could ask Kamoana and Medissa. Kamoana said she once had a dog. Even if they get a little rowdy, Medissa will be around to keep them safe. That's a good idea. I'll go ask them. Thanks. We can't be killing off Therians. Besides, they remind me of Nico. Velvet. You want a pet dog, Luffy said? You should go to the Abbey then. Why the Abbey? Because the place is full of the Shepherd's lap dogs. <laughs> get it? Lap dogs! Yeah, I get it. <laughs> wow, Bienfu, you're so good at telling jokes. Anyway, I think that's about um, time to end it off for today because we've gone on for a very long time. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please let me know down below what you thought of everything that happened in this episode here today. Um, I know that there wasn't very much plot stuff. I spent a lot of the episode running back here, however. I hope you enjoyed it regardless. I hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time it is for you. And I will see you next time. <laughs>